A blue tarp in the middle of the track covers the bodies of two teenage boys killed after a late night stunt went horribly wrong. They snuck onto the closed bobsled track at Canada Olympic Park with a group of friends early Saturday morning. It is believed at least eight teenagers, all males, entered the property after hours and used a personal sled toboggan in an attempt to go down the bobsled track. A third of the way down though, the bobsled and luge tracks merge. A gate separates the two. The teens crashed right into it. Unfortunately, uh, they had to determine uh, two of them deceased on scene just given the injuries sustained. This is previous video of the actual bobsled path where sledders can reach speeds above 100 kilometers per hour. Several of the teens suffered broken bones. One is in critical condition. Police say the boys broke into the facility and people familiar with the site tell CTV the teenagers would have had to jump over the closed fence to get to the track, something neighbours have seen before. Sometimes there's people after a day of skiing that hang out on the, on the, on the, on the street here or you can see that they're, they're in the facility but uh, never obviously with the, with the result that we had today. Windsport says it has 10 full-time security guards and two overnight. We have uh, ro robust security measures throughout the park and uh, again safety is extremely important to us and, and security. Many questions still remain including if there's enough security to keep people out after hours. For now, the Canadian flag atop the hill is lowered to half mast. Calgary police are now using security video from Windsport to help with the investigation, while Windsport says it also will conduct its own review of the incident. At this time, police say it's unclear if alcohol was a factor in the crash or if any of the teenagers will face charges. Sandy? Raheem, thank you for this.